we're trying to fight and dig in and stay in the pack with, I've said it before, we're dealing Delta 2 and a 7 every week and we, we, at the minute we're doing okay, we've lost 1 in 7. Um, we would like more wins, we should have beat Crew away um, and potentially could have won this game too, but I think a, fair, a, a draw was a fair result. No point at Stahlberg. Firstly, what's the, the diagnosis there, and but also how pleasing that his replacement in yeah. Lewis Jones keeps a clean sheet? Yeah, well, Pontus um, just rang in ill yesterday, so he wasn't able to train. Um, and then we obviously got an update this morning, his energy levels are so low that he, he couldn't play. Um, Lewis has trained exceptionally well the last three or four weeks. Um, deserved his opportunity to play at Scunfort, acquitted himself really well, and I think today pulled off one good save from their counter-attack cross mm. header. Um, and I thought his distribution was good, his decision making was good, and he, and he brought a bit of a you know a calming presence to us, which I'm really pleased with. If you get four injuries, then it's you know it's a it's a massive issue. But when you've got ten, it's tough. Like but as I said to you yesterday, you're batting down the hatches and you put performances like that. If we get that every week, then we'll be okay, all right? Because we will have quality. Coming back, we'll, we'll have freshness on the bench, we'll have the Huila we'll back, then close, and it gives us more options. Matt Smith will be available um, on Tuesday. But just the en en endeavour and the, and the graft and, and the, the, um, the pride to wear the shirt, I thought was just, was just out. I know them are cliches, but you have to do them. You, have to, you don't walk on a football pitch and have a divine right to, to get on the ball and, and, and spray passes about and get three points. You have to do basics, and I thought we was unbelievable at them today. Just a few words on uh, Bobby Falkland, obviously getting that. Yeah. Your on, on it. No, again, he's a, he's a big, strong boy. He's going to develop into a, a big unit. Um, but, but for all that, he's quite light on his feet. He can move his feet. He's not a big unit that is quite stiff um, and immobile. So it's something that the club have, uh, you know, the, the academy's worked with him. He's, he's played a few games in the under-18s. He's trained with us now several times and, and we quite like him. Bigger, it's different if we put him on there. It's... But, from where he's at, at the moment, compared to a lot of other uh, players his age, he's doing really well. So we just, you know, we knew that the bench is short. Rather than just have five subs, we just thought we'd expose him to the match day experience and, and look at the likes of how Tom Anderson has acquitted himself today. I'm a big believer in that. You know, you look, you look at a lot of these Premier League clubs that have got world class players playing in the first team, and you've got academy players who have unbelievable talent, but they keep them in separate buildings. How crazy is that? So what we want to do is we want Bobby Faulkner to watch Tom Anderson every single day because he's going to be that type of player. Big, strong, aggressive defender. 